in the previous video, we looked at how to navigate to the business rules section in Dynamics 360. In this video, we'll start taking a look at the different types of business rules. So let's start off by creating a new business rule. So to do that, all I need to do is just click on new. Once I click on new, I'll be presented with this user interface. And from here, I can start configuring my business rule. First, let me go ahead and give a name to my business rule. So to do that, just click on this down arrow next to the account new business rule. And then edit the name over here. So I'm going to call it by default button. Okay. So if you want, you can also give a description on what this business rule is doing. So uh, let me go ahead and give a description. So let's assume that our CRM organization is US based. It is used by users who are all in the US region. Okay. So anytime a new account record is created and if some information is being entered in the address section, then by default, we'll populate the country to the United States. That's what this business rule is going to be. Okay, so once I've entered the description, now what I can do is I can start configuring my business rule. Okay. So uh, the first thing which you need to do is you need to apply the condition. That is what rule it needs to check. And then once you do that, you need to configure the actions which need to happen once it satisfies the business rule and when it does not satisfy the business rule. So as I mentioned earlier, the different types of actions which we can do is apply a recommendation for the fields, lock or unlock a field, set the value for a field, show an error message, set the default value for a field, make a field business required or you can like uh, make a field appear or not appear. So these are the different types of actions which we can perform. So before I configure my actions, let me go ahead and configure my condition. To do that, just click anywhere on this box. And then on the right hand side, click on properties. Okay. And then you can start configuring your condition. So give a name for display name for this condition. I'm going to check, check if address is not null. Okay. So what it will do is, as the name indicates, it's just going to check if the address is not null. So once you've given a name, configure the rule. My rule is the address one street one field should contain data sorry contains data okay so once you've con configured the condition all you need to do is just click on apply so once you do that your condition will be configured and the condition which it's checking is if address one street one contains data so now what you need to do is you need to configure the action when it satisfies a condition and when, and when it does not satisfy the condition. Now what I want to do is I want to set a default value when it satisfies this condition. To do that, I need to click on the set default value and then drag and drop it over here right next to the check mark like this. When this plus box is highlighted, then you can release your finger from the mouse. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be setting the default value for a field. Configure the field. Now the field which I'm going to be setting a default value for is the address one country. And then the value is USA. And then give a display name. So uh, I'm going to call it set default value to USA. Okay. And 
click on apply okay so now you have applied the action which will be performed when it satisfies a condition you can also apply a action when it does not satisfy the condition or you can leave it blank if you want if you leave it blank then nothing will happen if it does not satisfy the condition okay so let me go ahead and save and publish this to do that first i need to validate the business rule what validate will do is it will validate the business logic if there is any issues with the business logic you will be thrown a error message okay so let me uh, click on validate you should get this message saying validation successful then only you will be allowed to activate it now i'm going to save the business rule okay so uh, you can also change the scope of the form that is on which form you want this particular business rule to be applied on these are all the different main forms and quick create forms which we have okay so uh, as i mentioned earlier you can uh, apply the business rules only on the uh, on the main form and the quick create okay so uh, you can choose on which form you want to like uh, apply this business rule okay so uh, if you want you can apply on all forms that is the default so i'm not going to change that and then just click on activate click on activate okay so now your uh, business rule is activated if you get this message saying deactivate then that means that you have activated it so if you want to deactivate it just click on this button okay so i'm going to close this okay so now you can see this business rule up appearing in this list okay once you've uh, created it okay so uh, let's go ahead and publish all customizations okay so once it's published now let's go ahead and minimize this do an empty cache and hard reload once So the empty cache and hard reload is performed to make sure that your uh, customizations are published immediately. Okay, so once the uh, empty cache and hard reload is done, go ahead and click on new. Let's test out business rule by creating a new record. So I'm going to call it test business rule one. And then this is the field which I'm checking if it's null. Okay, and uh, this is the field which I am going to be populating with the default value. So let's see if it's working. Once I've entered the data, I'm just uh, placing my cursor on the next field. Let's see what happens. So there you go. You will see the. Uh, address one country region is pre-populated with USA okay so that is because of the business rule so that is how you create a business rule and test it out in the next video we'll look at the set business required action lock unlock and set field value actions